Hi and welcome back to Computer Science for Everyone. In this video we're going to be creating our queue and it's going to be coming from our list class. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the list onto the queue because the queue is essentially the same thing as the list with one extra method to remove the node from the end as we've seen in the presentation. So in our queue class we're going to have the head, getters and setters in order to modify it. We're going to have the add to list method which is we know is going to add a node at the beginning I'm going to rename it to push for now. We're going to have our find method that is going to find a node and we've tested this in a previous set of programming videos and we know it works. And finally we're going to have the pop method that as we know is going to remove the last element of the queue. So how do we remove the last element? by making its parent point to null instead of the element. So we know some things. We know the last element points to null because it is the last element, so it doesn't have a next element, and therefore it points to null instead of another node. And we have to make this last element's parent point to null instead of to the node so that we remove it from the list. So what we want to do is we want to go through our list and check whether the following node is going to be the last element and if it is we want to make the parent point to null instead of that node. So this. So we go through the queue. If the next node is going to be the last element, we remove it from the queue. Let's see how we could program that. First of all, we're going to need a marker, just like we did in our find method to be able to go through the queue. Well, the marker is not null. It means that our list has something. And then we want to check if this marker's next node has a child that is null. So remember, the marker is the parent because if the marker is the last element at any given point and we don't have its parent anywhere, we can't possibly remove it from the list. You'll get what I mean in a second once we've finished with this. So We're going to create a child node that is going to be the marker's child. Now, if this child's next node is null, this child is the last node. And marker is the parent node. Now, if the child's not null, we can check for if the child's next node is null. If it is, then this child is indeed the last node. Let's try to re-explain this a bit. So we have the marker, which is the parent. While the marker is not null, we're still looping through our list. And then we create a child. This is the marker's child. So the marker is the parent, child is the child. If the child is not null, then we check for if it's next uh, node is null. If the next node is null, then child was the last node. If not, child wasn't the last node. So we don't do anything. If child wasn't the last node, we forget about it. If child was the last node, what we do is we make marker set next to be null. So what we have done here is we've gotten the parent and instead of pointing to the child, which is what it was doing here, we're pointing to null. And therefore nothing points to the child and it gets removed from the method and from the queue. 
And then what we want to do is marker equals marker dot get next. So we increase the marker and we can keep moving through the queue. And once we've done that, we have everything set up for popping or removing nodes from the queue. So let's re-explain it one more time. We have the marker, which starts at the beginning or the head of the queue. While the marker is not null, it means that the queue is not, we're not at the end of the queue, so we can keep going. We create a child node, which is going to be the marker's next node. If this child is the last node, we want to remove it. But first, we need to make sure that it isn't null. If it isn't, we check if it is the last node by making sure that the next node is equal to null. So if the child's next node is equal to null, it means that it is the last node because it doesn't point to a next node, it just points to null, which is the end. So the child is the last node, and therefore we set the parent's next node to be null instead of the child, essentially removing the child from the queue. Finally, before exiting the loop, or before repeating, we make the marker equal to the marker's next node, which increases and keeps going down the list, down the queue, rather. So, this is our queue. We've created the pop method and we've renamed the push method. And now, in the next video, we're going to be finishing off the controller and trying to make a program out of this queue to see how it works. So, I'll see you in the very next one.